Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about hard times. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of hard times is Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. It says, Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or scared of them, for Yahweh your God himself is who goes with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of hard times is found in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. It says, In nothing be anxious, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Romans chapter 8, verse 31. It reads, What then shall we say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Passage number 4. This is from Romans chapter 8, verse 18. The scripture says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which will be revealed toward us. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 12 through 13. The Bible says, I know how to be humbled, and I also know how to abound. In any and all circumstances I have learned the secret both to be filled and to be hungry, both to abound and to be in need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of hard times and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on hard times. Passage number 6 is from Isaiah chapter 41, verses 10 through 13. It says, Don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all those who are incensed against you will be disappointed and confounded. Those who strive with you will be like nothing, and shall perish. You will seek them, and won't find them, even those who contend with you. Those who war against you will be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. For I, Yahweh your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, don't be afraid. I will help you. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. The Bible says, count it all joy, my brothers, when you fall into various temptations, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. Let endurance have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of hard times is from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31. It reads, Haven't you known? Haven't you heard? The everlasting God, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, doesn't faint. He isn't weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. He increases the strength of him who has no might. Even the youths faint and get weary, and the young men utterly fall, but those who wait for Yahweh will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run, and not be weary. They will walk, and not faint. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. The passage states, by reason of the exceeding greatness of the revelations, that I should not be exalted excessively, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to torment me, that I should not be exalted excessively. Concerning this thing, I begged the Lord three times that it might depart from me. He has said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly therefore I will rather glory in my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may rest on me. Therefore I take pleasure in weaknesses, in injuries, in necessities, in persecutions, and in distresses, for Christ's sake. 
For when I am weak, then am I strong. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of hard times is from Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. It says, Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed, for Yahweh your God is with you wherever you go. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of hard times. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to hard times, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.